This is my dream. My dream is to travel around the world and be able to capture all of it while making new friends. It doesn't matter how long it takes me, how hard it is, or how I'm doing it. All it matters is that I can get there and that I live it. 2019 has been another year achieving part of my dream, but this video isn't just a travel compilation. I said to myself, what if I leave 2019 as if it was my last? So I did just that. Three continents, 10 countries, many new friends and countless memories later. I'm here, telling the story. It all started with a trip to the land of the free, home of the brave. The United States of America. It was my first time in North America. I spent a few days chilling in Florida with some buddies of mine. Having fun, just boys being boys, and it was the spark that ignited the fire. As I flew back home, I couldn't keep my mind off the next trip, where and when. To my luck, my best friend, with whom I'm always shooting in Brussels, needed help with some drone footage for a commercial in France. It was my first gig where I got paid to travel, and I was excited to say the least. As the days followed, I got to go to the Netherlands and hang out with some of my friends. I might even go to call them family now, and I spontaneously ended up going to a sleepover in Germany with some new friends I had just made. And just when I thought that my life was back to normal, as I got back to work, I left for Spain with a 48 hours notice. It was the craziest adventure of my life. My body called me and said, get some time off work, we're going to my friend's house in Spain. You have friends in Spain? I said. Nah, just some strangers on Facebook invited me. I didn't need much convincing and as I'm alive telling the story, I have zero regrets. I had a blast. We shot a lot of things and we had loads of fun. We then took off to Gibraltar and climbed to the peak of the mountain. Not impressive? Well, it was one of the hottest days of the year and I was sweating my ass off. Funny thing about Gibraltar, I could see Morocco right across. It was one swim away, a much needed swim at that moment. I'm not that crazy, but I am crazy enough to catch a ferry to Morocco the next day. I haven't been there for four years. My parents are from there and most of my family lives there. I just needed to reconnect with my roots, even while running on low hours of sleep. My short 24 hours journey in Tangier ended as I flew back to Belgium. Just as I landed and took some time to relax, I was back on the bus to Munich. Another highlight of the year, where I made the most international fans with whom I danced under the rain as if the world was really going to end the day. The most picturesque hike I've ever been on. And again, I took very little time off before I traveled again. Me and my boys went to Croatia. Ah, Croatia. Some weeks later, I was invited to a friend of a friend's place in North Macedonia whom I met in Croatia. And I'm not the man to say no. And before I waved goodbye to the year, I went to London to help a friend with an event. I was where I love being the most, behind the camera and in the moment. Oh, and uh, I almost forgot, I also directed my first short film. I said this is not a travel compilation, I meant it. There is a lot more to my story than just airplanes and new friends. There was a lot of downs. I don't have the footage of the time I spent grinding and hustling behind the desk, keeping up with school and work so I can travel. I am not at the point where I'm able to travel for a living, but I'm getting there. I pay for most of my own travel, and I don't have it recorded when I was short of money. Yet, there is no single doubt in my mind that I'm doing what I need to do in order to get where I want to get. I want to tell you why I do what I do. I don't aspire to be just a filmmaker, but also a storyteller. It's only fair for a good story to have some cool and crazy cinematic shots, and that's why my camera is always on me. You've probably heard this before. Life is a roller coaster. With so many ups and often aggressive downs, it can be overwhelming, but I consider myself to be a lucky man. I had someone to stand by me, and it was only time to put a ring on it. Carlene, I know I'm not always around because of my travels, but you're my rock. You give me the strength to be the man I want to be. I had an incredible year, but the day I proposed 
was the best day of not only this year but also my life. I am happy I can call you my fiance. With you, the downs fell a little bit softer and they shaped me to be who I am today. This is not just a travel film. I don't mean to glorify the travel lifestyle so that you'd get jealous. I don't want you to drop whatever it is that you're doing. Your life is not shitty unless you're not doing what you love the most. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. Here's a challenge for you. Be better at what you do, be the hero you want to become. Get outside of your comfort zone, meet new people, go places you've never been before and trust me, it'll be the best time of your life. I smashed 2019. Seeing how things are going, 2020 is going to go down even harder.